Hi everyone! The time has finally come to announce my winner of the top palette of the year. And for me, this was the Dragon Trail palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. Here's what she looks like if you haven't already seen this beautiful little thing. I love this so much. I absolutely adore it. I bring this palette when traveling. I literally want to use this palette every day for my whole life. And I'm just so in love. I love the brand. I love everything about this palette. And I cannot wait to dig into this again. So I have already primed my eyes. We're just going to get straight into it. And today I think I want to do a blue kind of wintry snowflakey look. So let's just get started. So what I'm going to do is I want to do a bit of a dark blue smoky eye. So I'm first going to dip into Cave Dweller, which is the darkest blue. And I have a bit of a problem right now because I don't know how much battery I have left because I've been filming a lot. And I really need to film this video so I can't make this look too complicated unfortunately. So I'm going to try and be kind of quick with this. So like I said, I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. Not into my crease because I am going to use another shade to blend this out with. And I'm also leaving just a little bit of room, like right in my inner corner. I'm also just gently going to use this brush and just blend it a little bit before I go in with the next one, since this one is so dark. I just don't want to have a very sharp line here. And to blend this out, I want to go in with Dragon Rider, which is the brightest of the blue shade. I love this shade so much. And I'm taking this on a small tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to run that right above where I put down the first shade. I'm going to go back in with that first blue now and just really intensify my lid. And also blending this a little bit into the other blue. I'm also going to do the exact same thing on my lower lash line. And I'm first starting with the darkest shade and I'm going to stamp this all the way across. And I'm using a Sephora smudging brush. If you haven't seen a video that I did with all my favorite brushes, I will link that up in the cards. I know a lot of you found that to be very informative and that makes me so happy because that was a tough video to film. I don't know why, but I was really struggling with that one. Next, stepping into the lighter blue shade again, and I'm going to use that to smoke out what I just put down. And I'm sorry if my eye is watering a little bit because I've been filming like three looks now, so yeah, it's just going to happen. So if it's looking a little patchy, it's not the shadow's fault, it's just because my eye is not happy. So I'll just ignore this right now. I'm going to go back in and fix it later, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now and wait for my eye to stop watering. I'm next going to take my NYX white liner and I'm going to use this and try to make little snowflakes on my eyelids. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a try. And it's probably going to look more like stars than snowflakes, but that's okay. So I'm going to wait for this to dry, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to go into the glitter and we're going to put a little bit of glitter right in the middle of each snowflake. And for the glitter I want to use my Morphe glitter and I really like this. And this is in the shade Poppin which is just a silver. I know I've used this in other videos as well. So I'm taking a little bit of this on an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to dot it like right in the middle of each snowflake. As if that wasn't enough, I'm also going to pop this right into my inner corner. And I'm going to use a lot of this. And I'm just going to let you know right now that using a lot of this is not a good idea because I can already feel this getting crusty and I'm happy it's at night and I'm washing this off after, but yeah, just something to keep in mind if you want this. It's probably going to dry it out and get kind of gross, so you might not want to use it like this. But I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to put on some lighter mascara. I'm going to fix my little runniness that's happening here, and then I'll be right back, and we can solve this look. 
So here's the look done before putting on lipstick. And in my waterline today, I put Prance by ColourPop, and this is just a light blue. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use one that I got in a box. I think I got it in a box of charm. And this is from Bella Pierre. And it's basically in the shade Nude. Even though for me, this is not a nude. This is definitely like a cool tone pink. And I think cool tone pink lipsticks look really good with uh, blue eye looks. And this unfortunately marks the end of my palette countdown of the year. I'm honestly kind of upset about it. This was so much fun to do. I can't wait to do this again next year and I really hope it catches on and that other people start doing the same thing because this was so much fun. So let me know if you were surprised by any of the palettes that I had in my top five. If you have these palettes, let me know how you would have ranked them and if you agree with my rankings because I really want to know because I feel like I'm very proud of my rankings. I'm super happy with the way that I placed all these and honestly though, every palette in my top five I absolutely love with my whole heart and if I were to lose them all in the fire tomorrow, I would repurchase them all. So that says a lot. I really hope you guys enjoy this series. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.